Welcome along to Personnails. I'm just getting a well I'm just about finished getting a drink. This is the uh, pale ale that I brewed, the Alpha Male Pale Ale, which what a kit brew that I did, all grain kit brew. There you go, we'll just put that over here and let that settle and I'll come round and have a chat with you. <coughs> just turn you round. Hello. So, it's been two or three weeks, a couple of weeks or whatever it's been. So, I thought we'd have a chat. Uh, tell you about the beer that we brewed excuse me I think I was brewing it did I mention it in my last video I think I did uh, yeah I did and this is a an all grain kit that we had oh we've had it six months uh, it was bought from Brew UK so that gives you an indication uh, it's just settling out now and clearing and I'll be totally honest first couple I had I wasn't feeling it I thought mm. so I left it and it had, had about a week and a half just sat in keg just conditioning a bit and it were a different beer really good it just needed that bit of time uh, and it's one of the best I've done on ample that is uh, really nice but it's got Citra, Mosaic, Columbus so we've got a good combination of hops in it which you're going to get an half decent beer aren't you, it just needed that bit of time so <clears throat> I'll quickly run you through uh, ingredients tell you what I think about it and then there's something else I think we'll have a chat about so your malt bill, your grain bill was uh, 4.1 kilo pale malt 520 grams of wheat malt and 250 grams of carapils. Dead simple. Uh, hops, we used. Where are we? 40 grams of Columbus at 30 minutes. Not start at boil, at 30 minutes. And then we used 20 grams of citra. 20 grams of mosaic at a whirlpool of 75 degrees and then the balance of the hops which were uh, Columbus and Citra yeah Columbus and Citra we had 40 grams of each as a dry up. Uh, mash temperature 64 for 60 minutes, sparge 78. Uh, it says boil for 70 minutes, I just boil for an hour. You pro flop and I used an SO5 I think. No, or an, no it was an SO4 I used. And I got Let me go on my notes on my phone. Uh, brewing. Alpha male pale. I brewed it on the 4th of July. Yep. Yeah. OG 1046. Finished at 10.08. And on here we were looking at. 
so I got 1046 and we were looking at 1006 and I got 1008 maybe if I'd have been a bit more patient it might have dropped another one or two but I were happy with that uh, should have been 5.3 mine came out at 5 so you can't argue with that can you and that's settled a bit now and really nice and to say you've had a total of Seventy grams of Columbus, seventy grams of Citra, and twenty grams of mosaic in it, and they're all quite late additions. It's not as hoppy as I thought it would have been. It is hoppy; you can smell it, but it's not. I thought it'd have been a little bit more, but it's subtle. It's, it's nice, it's not smacking your face and once again that head it'll stick with it all the way down glass and it's uh, another another creamy but you'll get that with an ample if you've got your setup out like uh, so cheers That is really good. Really good. Just aging it that week or so. Just conditioning it just for a week. It might not seem a lot of time. But when it's come out of fermenter, I, when I brewed it, it finished its fermentation and I put it in a secondary just for a couple of days off yeast. It just dropped a little cloud of extra out. And then I kegged it and then I left it for that week, week and a bit. And really happy with it. Uh, now, bitterness wise, it's not. No, it's just nice. There's no bitterness at back or at sides. Just a, There is a bitterness, but it's very, very mild. It's not a bitter, bitter. If, <laughs> I'm making sense and I mean they went in at 30 minutes did the uh, Columbus so it's not meant as a bittering hop as such anyway it's more subtle more towards your flavour and aroma and there's a A good hop presence in the flavour. It's light, it's fruity, it's it's subtle. I mean they're not massive amounts. I mean there's only 20 grams of mosaic total in it. But it's subtle and it it, it sneaks up on you. There's flavour after you've swallowed it. And you proper could smash a few of these. Really good. That keg won't last that long. Right. So that's the Alpha Male Pale. Uh, I will be keeping this and redoing that. <clears throat> Only downside with these kits, and I'm sure. To do it to produce the kits cheaper is its leaf ops, and I'm not a fan of them. Uh, and I'm, I get it, they're sending them because it's cheaper, but I use pellet, I only use pellet, me rightly or wrongly, that's what I use. And when I do it again, I'll be using pellet, and I may just, although. Does it need tinkering with? I just can't. 
help myself, I have to meddle. Uh, I'm thinking my dry up just might include a little bit of mosaic in as well. But that's for another time. Uh, this is what we've got at the minute and I'm really happy with it. I think that would also make a good beer kegged as well. And like I say, you can see that lacing we've got there, that head sticking all the way down. So <laughs> that's the beer. I'll just put this back on charge. The other thing I was going to mention, I thought I'd just have a quick mention about books. Right fellas, I've got me send another drink because I've just cut that there. I banged on far too long uh, <clears throat> to the point where my camera cut off and it cuts off after 30 minutes. So, second half of this video, talking about books, I'm just shooting again, <laughs> just to put you in picture. So where were we? We just talked about me, uh, beer that I'm drinking, and we were just going on to books. Now, I've cut this down to my five books that I go to the most, and I'd like to hear what what are your top five books that you go to for recipes, for information, for just general reading, whatever, your top five beer related books. Uh, and I've got my top five here and some might be pre predictable, some not. Uh, We'll just have a quick, but that's cleared out, that is a lovely beer. So right, my top five go-to books, I have loads of books, if I'm going for recipes, and I should vary it a bit more, I tend to go for yeah, you've guessed it. Bible. They're just solid, dependable recipes in this book. Homebrew beer, Greg Hughes, and his second edition sort of thing that he did. Uh, is it worth money? I think it is. Just for recipes more than anything. First part of the book is pretty much the same as first part of this book but you've got quite a few new recipes New England IPAs things like that uh, so they're my first two go-to books for brewing whether people will agree or not I don't know another really good book for uh, recipes but the British Real Ale recipes, <laughs> recipes, which are good for my hand pull, uh, and they've got a lot of traditional ones that you'll have heard in all pubs. Uh, lots of things I have mentioned in this book before: Fuller's Pride, uh, Fuller's ESB, Flowers Original, Flowers IPA. Uh, the Vlodes, Boddington's, Braxbeer Bitter, Black Sheep Bitter, Black Sheep, Rig Welter, Black Sheep Ale, Belhaven 80, Bateman's Triple XB, Bateman's Best Bitter, Banks Bitter, they're all in here. Uh, British Real Ale 3rd Edition Graham Wheeler really good recipe book and each recipe is uh, it gives you 
the quantities to either do a 19 litres, 23 litres or a 25 litres but if you want to uh, take them recipes to 30 litres, 50 litres, whatever I can't quite find it now but there is a section in here and I've used it and it's worked. I've took 23 litre recipes up to 50 litres and brewed them on my hot cat. There's a somewhere in here there's a little equation and it tells you how to uh, do a mathematical little equation to up a recipe and you can up it to whatever you want. I can't find it. Weights and volume measurements but anyway, it is a really, really good, interesting book. I would highly recommend that book. A solid, practical guide covering equipment and methods and more than 100 recipes. That's my third book. Uh, still on recipe type things. Brew better beer. Uh, learn and break the rules for making IPAs, sours, pilsners, stouts, and more. And it's a really good book. Loads of recipes, nice pictures. Uh, tells you for one gallon, five gallon, it gives you your measurements in ounces and grams, pounds, kilograms, so you know and it's got sections brown ales, it does stouts, porters and stouts, uh, Scottish and Irish red ales, wheat beers, I have seen a couple of wheat beers in here I'm, I'm thinking of doing rye ales so another good solid book uh, and then my last book that's a very informative book and I've learned a hell of a lot about brewing techniques is this one Brewing Better Beer Master Lessons for Advanced Home Brewers. Uh, Gordon Strong is the three time winner of the coveted National Home Brew Competition uh, Ninsky Award. Is a president and highest ranking judge in the Beer Judge Certification Programme and principal author of the BJCP style guidelines now you don't have to be the world's best brewer you know it, this will help you and it's in plain English and it explains everything uh, things I thought I understood I clearly didn't and It'll like, uh, what can I, how can I give you, I'll go to the front, so let me go to the front. So sort of topics that this book covers is things like uh, mashing techniques, uh, mastering, yeah, mashing techniques, mash fundamentals, common mash rests, doing in, single infusion mash, stepped mash, uh, handling dark grains decoction mash but it explains each term and tells you what they are clearly and easily uh, recipe formulation detecting beer faults technical brewing faults uh, incorrect attenuation boil related issues, harshness, 
uh, aftertaste, clarity. You name it, it's you name a topic and it's covered in this book and it's covered in plain English and it's really really a good book I've got I've read it two or three times and I'm still learning things each time because you don't always take it in first time round uh, let me check on how long we are right we're all right for a couple of minutes so they're my I won't say my top five favorite books but they're the five books I tend to pick up the most so that must tell you something no doubt there'll be other books out there that are just as good but I don't know about them that's why I'd like you to tell me your top five books and there might be a book in there that I think yeah I'll give that one a whirl um, fly get away some of the other books just quickly because I don't want to bang on too much that I do look at quite a lot. I have a book there, Porters and Stouts. And you see I have another uh, bookmark in there at whatever point that's at. Really good book. Lots of good recipes again. Uh, Electric IPA. This is, I've not really gone into this in depth yet, uh, but it's full of recipes and things. But I will get round to it. Another one on pale ales. Uh, this is about more history of the pale ale. And then there's some recipes. History, techniques, and then not loads of recipes, but some recipes in there. <clears throat> and I don't brew enough, actually, IPAs. But... Brewing Techniques, Recipes and the Evolution of the India Pale Ale. And that's quite an informative book as well. And then on learning side, I did get a book on yeast. This is a little bit heavy going. It's quite in depth. But I have learnt some things out of it. And I've only been through it. I've not actually read it all the way through. I started reading it and it just you know it just blows your mind a bit I left it for a bit I've gone back I've read a bit more and I've picked things out and it's just good to go back and when something pops up in your brewing or you hear something and you don't fully understand it you've got the book to go back and find it and research it and that's what I tend to do and Knowledge is everything, isn't it? Uh, oh, and then I've just another one here. It's not a beer book, but world's best whiskies, and there's some lovely whiskies in here. But this is more of uh, just a uh, sort of like show and tell about distilleries, and uh, just a nice, interesting book. But I don't think it was a cheap book. But anyway, they're just some of the books that I've got, and they were my top five. I have a load more books down there, and I'm a sucker, I can't resist them. But it's one of the easiest and best ways to learn. And I like sitting at conservatory now and again, pot of coffee, and just sit and have a read through my books, uh, and get some ideas. And I'm, I am going to display my books up on wall at minute they're just down there but yeah they're my top five so what's yours uh, and I think that's it fellas for this week we've talked about my beer I've shown you my top five and a few other books that I've got uh, like I've said show me your top five books and tell me why they are top five. And we'll leave it there. And I'll catch you all next time. Cheers.